Hello, dear One Life countrymen. The witty American writer Mark Twain once remarked that everything had already been said, but not yet by all. Me too. I want to comment on one coin going public on the Open Cryptocurrency Stock Exchange. All public cryptocurrencies seek to arrive there. They publish the mining algorithm, go through the listing procedure, and invite everyone interested to play with another digital asset on the stock exchange. What makes one coin fundamentally different is that going public on the Open Cryptocurrency Stock Exchange is not its goal. The goal is to create a worldwide digital means of payment. Buying and selling one coins on the stock exchange is only a tool to achieve this goal. More precisely, one of the three tools. Today, I want to tell you in detail about all three tools. So, let's imagine the mission of the very young OneCoin figuratively, to become a global means of payment in the digital economy. Let's imagine all the world's reserve currency in the form of a giant. In comparison, the OneCoin baby is just a mite of a child. What happens if it challenges the giant to an open battle on the cryptocurrency stock exchange? No one will stake on the newborn baby's victory. Let's be realistic. In a direct collision, the giant will crush one coin. And yet, it is possible to defeat him. But first, you need to infect a giant with a deadly virus that will gradually destroy it from within. And when it turns into a colossus with feet of clay, one push is enough to win. If we move from a fairy tale to economics, then the victory plan can be presented as follows. The one coin cryptocurrency does not declare war on the global financial system. It is rather a peaceful coexistence. It creates a parallel alternative payments market. The economic engine is creation of surplus value according to the formula commodity, money, commodity. One coin cryptocurrency is a key element of an alternative economic model in which surplus value is created according to the formula commodity, cryptocurrency, commodity. A cryptocurrency stock exchange opens for a smooth transition from fiat money to the one coin cryptocurrency that it will be possible to buy and sell on the stock exchange at a fixed price. The market will have to confirm stability, not volatility of our cryptocurrency. To do this, at the first stage it will be regulated, similar to how OPEC set, oil, set the volume of oil production to maintain its prices. Our company, depending on the demand level for cryptocurrency, will establish sales volumes. As demand grows, sales limits will expand. See the cryptocurrency stock exchange as a process. It should not be imagined as an open door day when on the appointed day and time the doors of the cryptocurrency stock exchange will open wide. I repeat that cryptocurrency stock exchange is only one of three tools. The second tool is the deal shaker online marketplace where goods can be exchanged for the one coin cryptocurrency. Money is not needed by itself, it is an intermediate tool for barter. We exchange our labor or our goods for money in order to exchange them for food, shelter, entertainment, for any goods we need. DealShaker returns the commodity market to the time of the birth of money, but now the one digital crypto coin exchange has appeared as an intermediate exchange in the digital market. And here I came to the hardest moment to understand. 
The vast majority of buyers believe that the marketplace will be able to attract sellers when they are able to exchange one coins as proceeds from the sale of goods for fiat money on the cryptocurrency stock exchange. Does it mean that meanwhile merchants give away their goods for free only in the hope of a bright future for one coin? This is the biggest misconception. Merchants exchange their goods and services for one coins because they need it and it is profitable for them. I have identified 10 market segments that need deal shaker and benefit from it even before one coin goes public. The buyers are all owners of the one coin cryptocurrency, even the merchants are buyers too. There is no market without buyers. Everyone wants to profitably exchange crypto coins for the desired product. It is profitable because in terms of the one coin value in euro, the products are several times cheaper. I think everyone understands this well, so the segment of buyers does not require special comments. I just want to add on the purchasing power rating of one life residence. I multiplied 50 billion of mined coins by the cost of one coin, that is 30 euros, and got an astronomical sum of 1 trillion 500 billion euros. Then I divided this number into 3.5 million inhabitants of the One Life country and got, in rounded figures, 430,000 euros or 490,000 dollars. To this, I will add a quick info. Based on data from the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, a list of purchasing power per capita covering population of 200 countries has been compiled. The richest country in the world, Qatar, has a purchasing power per capita of $146,000. Residents of the One Life country are three times richer. The deal shaker market is very needed by overproduction, that is, by a huge number of goods that dead weight gathering dust in warehouses and hamper the economy. As an example of this market segment, I usually cite hotel rooms that remain vacant. You can rent vacant rooms for one coins that you will spend to buy, for example, Chinese bed linens of excellent quality. After all, the hotel should always renew bed linens, that is its current expenditure item. Illiquidity of goods is a relative concept. Russian felt snow boots are illiquid in Africa, but are well sold in Siberia. Linen overstock from a Chinese seller finds demand in the hotel business worldwide. So, the second sector of the deal shaker marketplace is selling illiquid goods for one coins and buying the necessary goods for them. The more goods on the platform, the greater the choice will be, and the faster the volume of illiquid goods from the seller will decrease. There is a large group of merchants who do not produce goods for themselves, but earn on resale. To do this, they buy cheaper goods, for example, in Turkey or China, and sell these goods at a higher price in other countries. For such merchants, the new deal shaker marketplace is a gold mine, because there it is possible to buy products for cryptocurrency and resell them in the traditional market for fiat money. I briefly named the fourth market segment Groupon and want to comment. How to reach out to the market with a new product? Traditional advertising in the media is expensive and inefficient. The idea of the Groupon advertising model is very simple. You can sell some of the goods at a big discount, provided that you convince the visitor checks to be sure that this product is really good, high quality, better than that of competitors. Farsighted manufacturers are already selling part of their products, partially or fully, for the OneCoin's cryptocurrency on DealShaker, capturing a new market. The Groupon model turned out to be one of the most successful in the world market. It was created in 2008, and in 2013, its capitalization was already $7 billion. 
On DealShaker, Groupon is only one of 10 market segments. There is the so-called reputational marketing, for which brand companies allocate a part of their expenditures. For example, sponsoring various sports, cultural, charity events support the brand credibility. Placing branded products on DealShaker will demonstrate that the company has its hand on the pulse of the digital economy and includes the OneCoin cryptocurrency in its basket of assets. It's a pity to call a segment of the digital economy a flea market. Meanwhile, it was the flea market that was very much in demand at the dawn of the internet commerce in 1995. The eBay marketplace made it possible for everyone to get rid of unnecessary junk via the internet. On DealShaker, everyone can sell their unwanted new or used items for one coins. Today, eBay's capitalization has exceeded $30 billion, and on DealShaker, the flea market is only one of 10 market segments. All access to the goods of a self-employed entrepreneur on the internet is blocked by large trading companies. But on the DealShaker counter, one can easily find products made with their own hands. Talent and human warmth emanates from these products because they are made with loving care. It is known that it is much more difficult to sell a product than to manufacture it. Therefore, there are more sellers than manufacturers in the market. But without manufacturers, there would be no sellers. First of all, surplus value is created by the manufacturer. They buy materials, machines, tools, hire workers to create a product and sell it. The cost of the goods is higher than the expenses incurred by the entrepreneur, and this is surplus value. I consider the eighth segment of the deal shaker market to be the most important for the development of the OneCoin cryptocurrency. On deal shaker, production chains are born in which the creation of surplus value occurs according to the formula commodity, OneCoin, commodity. I will explain with a simple example. I am a baker, I bake bread, and I can sell it for one coins, if the miller sells me his flour for one coins too. The miller would do it with pleasure to save paper money if the farmer sells him grain to make flour. And why would the farmer not do it when he can exchange one coins for a lot of goods he needs? The short production chain has closed, so it will function. But even if an entrepreneur only buys a part of components for one coin, this will bring him savings. With the expansion of the deal shaker product base, the production chains will grow as well. If the manufacturer does not have enough links in this chain, he can invite his subcontractors to the deal shaker platform. It is only necessary to explain to the subcontractors the mutual benefit. For the time being, the labor market is still emerging. There are offers from experts who want to earn one coins with their work, teaching music, foreign languages, providing psychological support, giving advice on healthy eating, massages, beauty services, etc. Gradually, a full-fledged labor market will emerge in which an entrepreneur will be able to search for exports of various professions who want to get paid in one coins for their work. The updated deal shaker has a social network, but what does the market have to do with it? In social networks, people get acquainted, correspond, share photos. The capitalization of the Facebook network of over 400 billion US dollars, and that is a fact. Because it is a huge audience for advertising goods and services.
The entire social network of DealShaker can advertise only one product, the OneCoin cryptocurrency. But each merchant can also use social networks to advertise their own products and services. Just do not confuse indirect advertising in a social network with direct advertising. For example, a hundred taxi drivers offer their services on DealShaker, but one of the taxi drivers in the DealShaker social network regales people with small humorous stories and funny sayings and tells jokes. It is his taxi that many will choose for a ride because they will order not just a taxi, but a trip with an interesting and cheerful companion. The taxi driver did not call network users to place an order with him. He drew attention to himself through the social network and aroused interest, and this has a direct impact on his product. So I have told you about the two OneCoin cryptocurrency tools, the cryptocurrency stock exchange and the DealShaker shopping portal. The third tool is a franchise of the DealShaker shopping portal. Under franchise, I mean a regional economic tool. Imagine a country, a banana republic, that endures economic decline and the government is looking for ways to revitalize the national economy. The most efficient and fastest way is to step towards a digital economy by buying a deal shaker franchise. Then, the entrepreneurs of this country will have the opportunity to exchange the earned one coins through the national bank for their national currency. The one coin cryptocurrency will come into the local market from all continents and the local market will begin to revive by the minute. This will encourage more companies of the Banana Republic to register with DealShaker. The tourism service accepting OneCoins will flourish, hotels, restaurants, taxis, and so on. The owners of the OneCoin cryptocurrency tourists will travel to the Banana Republic as tourists from around the world. The alternative means of payment, OneCoin, will gradually supersede the national currency. That is, the transition from a weak national currency to a solid international one coin will not take place in the form of buying a batch of cryptocurrency on the stock exchange, but as an evolutionary economic process that will revive and strengthen the country's economy. So, I have told you about the three one coin tools. But in order for a cryptocurrency to take root as a digital means of payment, another important condition is necessary. A favorable environment, that is, an appropriate legislative framework. In recent years, it is this topic that most attracted my attention. No matter how much we want to prompt recognition of cryptocurrency, so far this has not happened. Cryptocurrencies are already 10 years old, but the countries that have entered them into the legal field can be counted on one finger. Often, the regulatory framework is either insufficient for full legal work, or just being developed, or the authorities prevent the spread of cryptocurrency on their territory. You will agree that we live in an interesting time of transition of the world economy to digitalization. Digital technology will inevitably win. Let's observe this transition together with the understanding that it will last not weeks and months, but rather years. I do not know when OneCoin will take the place of the world reserve cryptocurrency, but I suppose that this will be connected with another financial trend. I will explain in more detail. All states place a part of their financial assets into gold and foreign exchange reserves. These are government assets with high liquidity. They are used to maintain the national currency exchange rates, balance of payments, and regulate economy in the international market. Many countries hold assets in U.S. dollars. Therefore, the U.S. dollar is the leading reserve currency. 
последнее время несколько стран начали проводить государственную политику. Recently, several countries have begun to pursue a state de-dollarization policy in order to weaken the influence of the dollar. They reduce the volume of purchases of dollars, increase purchase of gold reserves, make mutual settlements in national currency. In the digital age, the emergence of another digital basket for placing financial assets in a reliable cryptocurrency is inevitable. If one coin can demonstrate the absence of volatility and growing popularity as a digital means of payment, it will have every chance of becoming a modern gold and foreign exchange reserve that I call the state digital reserve. Then, the volume of purchases of the one coin cryptocurrency will increase to billions of dollars. This will be the final and triumphant victory of the one coin baby over the giant, and I am sure that this victory is not far off.